seventh planet? What planet is that? Uranus is no laughing matter. Journey to the Seventh Planet, 1962, directed by Sidney Pink, starring John Agar, Carl Ottosen, and Anne Smyrner. In the distant year of 2001, a group of astronauts surveying the solar system deal with the horrors of Uranus. Everyone from the cast to the narrator go out of their way to avoid mentioning Uranus. Astronauts from the UN set out to explore Uranus. These are some pretty promiscuous astronauts. They get pretty distracted by Uranus. Uranus causes the astronauts to hallucinate. Uranus sustains life. Here is an actual shot of the astronauts looking at Uranus. Uranus is deceptive. Uranus is dangerous! Uranus looks suspiciously like Earth at times, for budgetary reasons. This film contains a bizarre number of connections to the film Reptilicus from the previous year including actors Carl Ottosen and Anne Smyrner, writer Ib Malkier, and director Sidney Pink. Uranus is booby-trapped. The astronauts need to wear special suits to explore Uranus. These are some of the clunkiest spacesuits I've ever seen. There's like a plexiglass box affixed to the front of the helmets. Uranus is spacious. Uranus is colorful. The astronauts explore the caverns in Uranus. Uranus almost swallows an astronaut whole. The alien landscapes are achieved by building sets on a soundstage, which makes Uranus look great. Uranus is full of methane. Uranus almost kills everyone. I'm honestly surprised how many jokes I could crack about Uranus. One of the monsters on Uranus are portrayed using stop-motion animation. Godzilla fans will instantly recognize Rodan's roar, used for the creature in the cavern in Uranus. The film ends with a charming little ballad, though I'm still not sure why they didn't entitle it Journey to Uranus. Verdict? Recommended. Invite some friends over, crack open some beers, and show them Uranus. That concludes this week's review. If there's any obscure sci-fi horror film you'd like to suggest, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure to tune in next time for another thrilling low-budget adventure.